So you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida, but you want to live close to the beach. Well, look no further because I would highly recommend St. Petersburg. In this video, I'm going to be showing you why St. Pete is an awesome spot to live. We're going to be checking out everything from the downtown living to all the wonderful beaches that St. Petersburg has to offer. So stick around because we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about the eating, the sleeping, the working, the play, the good, and the bad of living in Tampa or the surrounding suburbs and cities like St. Petersburg, then tap the bell for notifications and subscribe below so you can be the first to know about the current market in Tampa. I'm Jonathan, me and my partner James get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Tampa, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send us an email. I'll be glad to help you make a smooth move to Tampa. All right, here is a little hidden gym called The Getaway. It's right across the Gandhi Bridge coming from Tampa, right on the left. And this is more of a, a, like a beach vibe, uh, relaxing bar slash restaurants where they got some great seafood, some great cocktails. And you can also uh, hang out over here on like a little pier area overlooking like the water. So you get a really relaxing vibe. Uh, you got some uh, great food and great cocktails uh, with some great music as well. More like an island vibe, island music. So it's a great fun spot to just come over here and relax if you don't want to go all the way into St. Pete, uh, just across the Candy Bridge from Tampa, you just come over here and it's like five minutes, five, five minutes across the bridge and you're having a great time relaxing over here with some fun in the sun. Next stop on the list is the Sunken Gardens, which is right off 4th Street. This is a, like a beautiful botanical garden and historical landmark. You know, it has a long, fascinating history, uh, which makes it a great spot to go for both locals and visitors alike. You know, it started in uh, like 1903, where it has a commercial garden, and this guy drained like a shallow lake and just filled it with all types like lush plants and tropical foliage. You know, so it, it, over time, this just became, uh, grew in popularity and became an awesome destination for both like nature enthusiasts and garden lovers alike. Furthermore, this place has more than 50,000 tropical plants and flowers from around the world, as well as several other attractions, such as like a, a butterfly exhibit where you can observe and learn about these beautiful insects, as well as like a, fl a flamingo colony where you can see them, you know, roaming around their habitat. You know, this place also has um, um, like educational programs, has guided tours and special events throughout the year, which makes it a, a great place for both like leisure and learning as well. So whether you're a nature lover, a photography enthusiast, or simply seeking a peaceful retreat, the Sunken Gardens is definitely worth a visit over here in St. Pete. You know, it has rich history, has stunning botanical displays, also has some pretty, you know, serene atmosphere, all of which makes it a great spot to stop at over here in the heart of the city. Now, if you don't want to go condo living and you're looking for a single family home, I would highly recommend this little gym right behind me in Distant Heights, just a couple short miles away from downtown St. Petersburg. Now, this uh, this unit in particular is brand new, brand new construction, and it's four bedroom, two and a half bath, uh, 2437 square feet for just under 900K. Again, brand new construction, so they got a lot of nice options in this particular house over here in St. Pete. All right, right behind me is gonna be Luxury in the Sky Living, which is 400 Central. It's right here in the heart of the city, so you're gonna be paying a pretty penny. You know, the penthouses are gonna be well off into the millions, I think like four or five million, but you can get other condos, uh, you know, like well, one or two bedrooms for around, uh, you know, 700, 800,000. And in the heart of the city, they have a lot of different things to do. One of my favorite is Parks and Rec, right across from there. Now that Parks and Rec is like a bar slash a game center where they have like ski ball and basketball. You can grab some drinks, they have DJs here, have a great time. And this little field right here at nighttime, they put up like these garbage cans and where you could, uh, it's almost like a beer pong. It's called bucket pong. So you just could have like, you know, grab some friends, hang out, you know, it's almost like uh, shooting the basketball in the bucket. So they have a lot of games and a lot of awesome spots over here in St. Petersburg. As you're making your way down towards the pier, you have like endless bars and restaurants and little cool little spots like uh, Saigon Blonde right here, which is like a uh, Southeast Asia type of feel, which offers uh, some great food as well. Now, if you go down like a little bit further too, you're gonna have like a bunch of other little, little bars, endless spots. At nighttime, it's gonna be a totally different vibe. It's filled with people. So you'll never run out of cool things to do or spots to stop at over here on Central Ave in St. Pete. 
All right, that is the beauty over here in St. Pete on Central Ave. It is highly walkable, and you're going to never run out of uh, a little mom and pop shops or places to eat, like this Italian pizza shop. Or you can also have uh, things like this ice cream shop right behind me. So I mean, not only it's like highly walkable, I mean, you're also going to run. You never run out of like all these little mom and pop shops to stop at. Uh, one place I highly recommend going to, it's worth mentioning, is Tropez right behind me. Tropez has an amazing octopus dish that is to buy for. I mean, if you're not into that, you could check out like this Vietnamese spot right here where you get bowl, like a bowls of pho or like this Japanese spot. Or if you can see right behind me, if you go down, there's going to be like Italian spots, a bunch of different cuisines that you can never run out of. I mean, you can walk this place down for like another mile and you're just going to have like endless little spots. That's the great thing about uh, over here in downtown St. Petersburg. All right, now over here between 6th Street and 8th Street on uh, Central, you're going to find a lot of like boutique shops where they sell like uh, a bunch of like random things as well as a couple good eateries and like little bars over here on the left. One thing that I highly recommend, which is my personal favorite, is uh, the Floridian right behind me. You stop at the Floridian, it's like an awesome uh, spot where they are awesome like restaurant bar and they're gonna have like almost like movie theater seating. And in here, like on the weekends, they have some amazing live performances that I'll highly recommend. They have like these local bands when they, they sing as well as perform. You have like fire breathers or people like spinning on the roof from like these rings and all types of live events and shows. So that is an awesome spot that I highly recommend over here on Central Ave in St. Petersburg. And right, now here's a pretty cool spot called Janice Live. That's actually a, uh, a venue that's been out here for quite some time that offers like, you know, a lot of different concerts and events. Right now they're having some type of rock event out there as well. Another cool fact which just opened up is this spot called Goodnight John Boy. Now this is actually like a 70s disco. Yeah, so, so if you go inside here at nighttime, they have, you know, the disco balls. We're playing like the blast from the past 70s. And it's also, it's just a, a, another cool spot to stop at. Our cool little uh, bar or disco, if you will, uh, something different to do out here in St. Pete. Now, as you get down towards the end of Central, you're going to end up on Beach Drive, where they have some really nice restaurants, including Bella Brava, which I would highly recommend. It's an awesome Italian spot. The lasagna is fire. Uh, also, they got things like Kilwin's ice cream, incredible, incredible ice cream, as well as like homemade fudge. And they got also like still taverns or I'll, or you go down a little inward, they got uh, your AMC Sundial movie theater, as well as like, you know, some of your chain nice restaurants like Ruth Chris Steakhouse. You go down a little bit further. I mean, they got this is endless, nice bars. Flute and Dram is a great bar where they have uh, a constant like live people out there performing on guitars and it's like a whiskey bar. Also, you can smoke a little nice cigar. They have Trist, which is also another another nice high end spot to uh, enjoy a cocktail. On the other side, they have this uh, this museum as well, where you get to check out you know some little artifacts and some exhibits as well. Um, one of my favorite spots to stop at over here on Beach Drive is a spot called Birchwood Canopy. Now it's a little bit further down there as well. What's, what I like about that spot, it's actually a rooftop. So you go up five levels and they they offer, you know, some some pretty decent food and uh, and a bar as well as some cocktails. At nighttime, it's almost like a, uh, like a bar slash club. And it, it, you can see the views of the whole bay. You can see the views of the uh, St. Pete Pier as well. So this is an awesome street to stop at. Once again, called Beach, right at the end, close to the pier. Now they also have this pretty cool playground called the Glazier Family Playground, which has a lot of cool things for the kids to do. And every and the whole ground is has like the uh, uh, the rubber the rubber ground, so they don't get hurt. Now right now right up here, as you can see, they have this giant net. Now it may not look like much, but at nighttime, I mean, it's like LED lights throughout, and it's really like a trippy thing to see. And they got like these little these seats over there, so you can just relax and hang out with your friends and just talk while enjoying some like a, like a little LED show and just uh, different uh, different things to do over here in St. Pete. All right, now walking up towards the pier, they're gonna have like this little beach area where you can just relax and hang out, uh, get your beach vibes overlooking the bay. If you go on this side, they're gonna have like splash pad for the kids, or they're gonna have like this little uh, this little bistro that offers, uh, you know, like pizza and ice cream. Also, you know, some uh, some brewskis for the adults to relax while they watch the kids. <laughs> and as you can see, this pier is pretty awesome. We're gonna walk down there towards uh, towards the actual pier where they have a lot more activities and uh, things to do. So let's go check it out. 
All right, now we finally made it to the end of the pier. Now this pier is pretty awesome. I mean, they, they totally redesigned it uh, just a few short years ago and, and they did a great job. This is like a three level spot where they have a few different dining options like uh, Pier Tiki or Teak or, uh, or like just like a little, uh, a little bait shop on the bottom. Now Pier Tiki is, uh, is pretty cool because it's all, it's all like, it's all designed around like a, like a Tiki vibe. You go there and they'll have like, they'll have, uh, it's right up there on the very top and you got views of downtown St. Petersburg right here in the background or you got views of the bay and they offer like real tropical drinks real tropical menu as well and on sundays they have like a live dj there and then yeah, it gets pretty wild out there you know it's pretty live they have the music everybody's dancing uh on the bottom or in the middle of the floor they got teak which is a more of like a like a slightly more formal restaurant if you go in the back of the pier they have uh they have like a bait and tackle basically a shop where you get like bait for your fish and then uh, you could go fishing right there on the pier in the back, and all these uh, and they have like this little uh, this little uh, board station with like running water where you could cut up your cut up your fresh catch and then store it or put it in buckets, and then or you could just uh, take in the view and check out all the cool things that uh, that the pier has to offer. You know, I mean, I mean, this there's no, really nothing, there's really uh, endless things to do over here on the pier. Now it does get pretty hot out here too as well. So they got like little trolleys that will transport you back and forth because it's about a quarter of a mile from the start all the way to the end. I mean, I'm sweating, I'm sweating bullets out here and I walk the entire thing. But I mean, this the view of everything is awesome. Not to mention around like 7 a.m. you could catch a beautiful sunrise over here in St. Petersburg on the pier. That's also a great thing about St. Pete. I mean, it's one of the few cities where you go over here east uh, at the pier in the morning and you could catch an awesome sunrise and then you could go all the way down take this road central literally all the way down to the beach and catch a sunset sunrise in the morning sunset at night i mean what more can you ask for over here in st petersburg and on the side of St. Pete Pier, as you can see, uh, the iconic three-story building in the back, we're on the side. They actually have a little spot called Doc B's, where they have, like, as you can see behind me, they have people setting up where they got, like, live bands that they play, where you can just relax over here and, you know, just grab a cocktail or grab some uh, some pretty good food at Doc B's. Now, it is over here on the side, where, on the side where they have the marina in the back, so, you know, you get little views around around the pier as well. So, I mean, just another, another awesome, cool little destination to stop uh, while you're traveling the pier. All right, now I'm over here in Vinoy Park, which gets its name from the Vinoy Park Hotel, which once sat adjacent to this park. Now, this park is one of the most talked about and visited parks in St. Pete due to the fact, because, I mean, look around. I mean, they got scenic views everywhere. Like right behind me, you can see that's the uh, St. Pete Pier. And then they also have like these trails where you see like bikers and runners go uh, all through all through throughout this park, which is like has this huge open field. Now, this park also hosts an array of events. It's pretty, it's most popular because it, it, it's rentable like you can rent it out and you'll see like a lot of like festivals and concerts and uh and like sporting events and they just they just they just put up these like these little uh these little uh eating stations and it's huge different stages and and art festivals and this whole park is just filled with a lot of like a lot of culture I mean, it's very vibrant that's why i love this park i mean you go out here uh just if, whether you're just running down these trails you'll see people post it up i'm not sure if you can see in the back but you'll see people post it up all the time on little uh, hammocks just relaxing taking in the views and i have like a little a lot of dolphins come up and a lot of like wildlife or you could just people watch it and you can see people down the pier but uh, the events are incredible i mean they got like this reggae jam fest uh, every year that's awesome they bring in a lot of the top artists as well as like a uh, uh, djs and festivals as well you'll see this place that's filled with like hundreds and like thousands i'm sorry thousands of people <laughs> and, and they're just they got everything roped off and you just have an amazing time over here in st petersburg that's the that's the great thing about st pete you know it's a lot of the people out here it's it's really uh, diverse and a lot of culture out here as well not to mention dog friendly i mean i bring my dog out here all the time you know just to relax in Benoit park and uh, and, and taking the views and uh, everybody's just really friendly you know? that's a it's it's a I love this park. I mean, it's a it's a great destination uh, just to come out here on a regular uh, Sunday and relax, or uh, or just to uh, just to hang out. If you go down a little bit further, I'll take you down there in a minute. They actually have like some volleyball courses as well, and a lot of fitness as well. So let me let's, let's go down there and I'll show you a little bit of that right now. 
And that wraps up Vinoy Park. So you know, whether you're out there in the field enjoying a, a festival or a concert, playing volleyball, doing any sorts of fitness like running or working out, or just enjoying the beautiful view over here when seeing dolphins or wildlife or checking out the, the, uh, the pier, uh, Vinoy Park is a must visit over here in downtown St. Pete. All right, walking down here towards the end of downtown, you're gonna have the L Lang Stadium, a uh, current home to Tampa Bay Rowdies. Uh, this stadium uh, uh, seats about 7,500 people. And just look at the views. I mean, it's, you get the downtown St. Petersburg skyline, skyline in the background of all the uh, skyscrapers. And if you go on the other side, you're gonna have like the bay where you're gonna have, uh, you know, all, where all the boats are docked up at like a little marina. And, uh, and yeah, this is a, a awesome, awesome little field to stop at and an awesome uh, venue as well. Now when you're traveling downtown St. Pete, I would highly recommend renting yourself one of the scooters via app. Uh, that way you can see a lot more and travel distance from like Benoit Park to uh, to Grand Central District. I brought my personal one from uh, from Tampa just because I love to uh, explore all of the city. Now um, as far as like housing options go, uh, you won't find like no standalone homes, but you'll find a lot of condos. And like I was mentioning before, over there at 400 Central, the brand new building, you're gonna have like these luxurious condos, but you're gonna spend like a minimum of $1 million for like a one bedroom. Uh, and then higher it goes, you're gonna spend a lot more. If you don't wanna spend a million dollars, I would highly recommend like these other spots. Like you'll find a little older buildings, like the one behind me. This building, you'll find one bedroom or two bedroom, you know, eight or 900 square foot, and you can get them for around 330,000 give or take. So that's also another option to go over here in downtown St. Pete. And uh, if you're looking for further information, you know, feel free to contact me. All my informa information is in the description below. I'll be glad to help you out. Now I'm just here, just outside of Salvador Dali's museum. It's a true gem in the heart of St. Pete, right in downtown. And this place is pretty incredible because uh, it, it's, it houses the largest collection of Dali's work just outside of Spain. It's featuring a lot of his surrealist masterpieces. You know, and as you go inside, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's, it's awesome because you get to immerse yourself like in the, the, the world of Dali basically like stepping in his mind you know it's truly mind-blowing just to see a lot of his work and his iconic pieces right up and close so if you're like a, a an art lover or just just interested about surrealism or just want to you know just hang out in something different some some cool spot to go like this museum is definitely worth a visit over here in downtown st petersburg all right, a little bit further down from downtown, you get to the Edge District. Now the Edge District consists of more so like uh, uh, fashion boutiques. And of course you got some restaurants, which uh, some of my favorites are gonna be like Bavaro's, which is like an Italian restaurant. Trust me, get the Tre Carnier pizza. You won't be disappointed. Or they got some unique spots, like this little German spot as well. And they also got some uh, pretty cool bars. Like if you go into the spot called No Vacancy, it's like a uh, it's like a different, like a uh, like an old school hotel type of vibe. But then they also have like these different unique drinks and also like some cool little artifacts or or, or, or cool little uh, designs on the walls and everything. But the Edge District is is a nice, cool, a little bit more calmer than the than the downtown area. But they do offer like a wide variety of these boutiques and shops and also you know everything's like extremely dog friendly out here and you'll you'll have a lot of spots to stop at as you keep going down now for you sports fanatics you're going to want to stop at Ferg sports bar over here in the edge district reason being because they got tons of tvs and any type of sporting event this place is just going to be packed with people i mean this place is pretty big they got tvs throughout and you'll just see it packed with people watching uh whatever sporting event is on at that time which is also a good uh cool little fun fact about this spot is if you go in here like a little bit further they actually have like this little dog center as well almost like a little dog park area so you get to bring your you know your furry friends and uh and play as well as well watching the sports. Now still over here in the Edge District, uh, we're, we're gonna stop at a spot called Green Bench. Now Green Bench is a brewery slash like a little bar area as well. They brew uh, beers as well as meads. Now uh, St. Pete is known for its breweries, like Three Daughters or in this case Green Bench. And they got like this cool little area to stop where you can relax, have some drinks and, uh, and enjoy the, it's a little, this little lawn area. Or if you go in here, you could actually see the uh, where they brew everything, the meads and the beers. So this is also another another cool stop, spot to stop, a little restaurant slash bar area over here in the Edge District in St. Pete. All right, now right in between the Edge District and Grand Central District, right in the heart of St. Pete, you're gonna find a great activity to do, which is called Vertical Ventures. Vertical Ventures is an indoor rock climbing facility 
great for family fun. Now you can just have like a free climbing where you're not harnessed up and they have like this little area where you're just, you know, you do a little, like a little free climbing and test your skills. Or you can be harnessed up and they got different sections where you can just go up like 30, 40 feet and do your normal like, like rock climbing routines. It's, it's a great grip activity and great for fitness or family fun over here in downtown St. Petersburg. Now we're standing on the Pinellas Trail right now, which actually is a pretty cool trail. It's a 75 mile continuous loop uh, stretching from Tarpon Springs all the way to St. Pete. Now we're right here at the Tropicana Field, uh, almost like the beginning of it. And you can take the trail all the way down towards the beach, which is uh, pretty cool. I mean, this trail has a lot of sights to see. You can see like a lot of a lot of uh, different nature as well as like graffiti murals, which will which I'll show you in a minute when we go down there. So the Pinellas Trail is this awesome spot to bike, run, or in my case, scooter. Uh, and and also uh, the Tampa, where the Tampa Bay Rays play right behind me is called Tropicana Field. Now Tropicana Field hosts an array of events. Not only do they uh, have the Tampa Bay Rays, which is our professional baseball team play, and it is also domed in where they also have like a lot of concerts and events. Uh, one of my favorite events here is called E-Chant Christmas during the winter time. Now E-Chant Christmas, they'll have like anything to do with Christmas. They'll have like these 20, 30 foot ornaments, a bunch of like a little, like a little small little trail inside. And you get to see all a walk through these ornaments and they're all lit up. So, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, it's awesome event for the family or, uh, or just bringing a date over here and, and checking it out. Now they also offer a pretty cool uh, um, ice skating rink, which has like a couple, not just a rink, they have like a little trail so you're going around a couple, couple curves as well. So they offer a bunch of events here as well. And this is a, it's a pretty uh, pretty cool spot to stop at. And a lot of things to do, a Tropicana Field or the Pinellas Trail. Now going down the Pinellas Trail, you're gonna go through a bunch of different scenic views and you'll see things like this industrial plant right behind me, or you'll go through like this bread factory baking this awesome smelling like bread. I mean, it smells phenomenal. <laughs> just uh, just going down the trail or you go to things like you'll see a bunch of nature or a bunch of different murals as well and you'll also pass by uh, which I'll highly recommend doing is this spot right behind me called uh, St. Pete Fairgrounds. Now St. Pete Fairgrounds is more of like a uh, like an art show or an art exhibit if you will so you go in there and you'll see a bunch of different little exhibits and displays of different types of art you'll see some lights you'll see some like uh, some little like a uh, uh, black lights with trippy stuff on the wall or you'll also see see like a um, uh, which one of my favorite is it's almost like you're outside underneath an overpass and then you're looking through like this little hole and then all of a sudden you're immersed inside a different world uh, outside world so yeah you'll be it's very immersive over here and it's an awesome art show to do uh, something uh, really fun or family fun or uh, or just by yourself or have a date so this is an awesome spot to stop at which I'll highly recommend called St. Pete Fairgrounds just off the Pinellas Trail all right, which is pretty cool about St. Petersburg is you're going to find that every single street, you're going to find a lot of these murals on the wall. There's a lot of artwork, which brings the city to life. And uh, a pretty cool hidden gem that's worth mentioning, it says just as you get off the Edge District and come right in here to the Grand Central District, is this little hidden gem called Dirty Laundry. Now, Dirty Laundry is actually a pretty nice, like, upscale bar area. But when you go through there, it looks like you're in a laundry mat, like an old rundown one. And then you knock on, like, you knock on this little door, which is, looks like, which is actually like a uh, a big washing machine, and it just slides open, and boom, you just you walk right in there, and you enter this really nice upscale bar area where you just relax and have some cocktails and uh, and hang out with some friends. Now, like I mentioned before, St. Pete is extremely dog friendly, and <laughs> look at all that dog near behind me it's pretty awesome now this spot right here is actually called dog bar now dog bar is like a uh, a place where you can bring your little furry companion and you can just relax they have like a little bar where you have some cocktails or they also have like this little dog station right behind me where you can just have your dogs off leash and just uh hang out with some other some of their dog buddies you know that's, that's a pretty cool spot or they also have this brand new place just opened up called Mutts and Martinis. Mutts and Martinis is also like dog bar, meaning you can bring your dogs here when they have a bar as well. But check this out. What makes them different is it's almost like a water park for dogs. If you can see behind me, they have like this dedicated like dog pool. You know, they got like a little ramp if your dog's too afraid to go in. And uh, when this place is open, you'll see like a lot of dogs here splashing around, having fun. So this is an awesome, another awesome spot to bring your furry friend over here in downtown St. Pete. 
Now, the great thing about St. Pete, you'll never run out of things to do. Uh, if you want to try your hand at something different, I'll highly recommend this axe throwing place over here in the Grand Central District. And it's just that you're throwing these axes at like these wooden targets. You feel like a lumberjack. Uh, there's a lot of uh, brew houses over here. So just don't have one too many before you throw these axes because uh, something might go wrong. Uh, also, St. Petersburg is known for, um, they're known for a lot of breweries. And one of my favorite happens to be the Grand Central Brew House. Uh, now the Grand Central Brew House is awesome because not only it's a cool spot to go to, they have like these, you're having these drinks at the bar with like these, you'll see these large uh, copper containers. It almost looks like where they brew them. And then you can also see, uh, they have two floors and you can also walk in a little bit further and actually see See their main vicinity where they're brewing all these uh, beers in house. So they got some awesome, awesome tasting beers over here in the Grand Central District uh, at this spot in particular, which I'll highly recommend. All right, I'm over here at the Grand Central Brew House. Had to grab me a beer, and you can see they got some local legends of uh, music in the background. Now, good thing about also another good thing about this place is you'll see like uh, some live performers performing over here. Uh, and they also can play games, like they'll have cornhole or you'll have like a little different type of games you can play over here on the turf as well. So come over here, grab yourself a nice IPA and relax and have some fun over here in downtown St. Petersburg. All right, over here in Treasure Island, it is a hidden gem called VIP Mexican Restaurant. Now this restaurant, I would highly recommend. It has some of the most amazing Mexican food, literally right across the street from the beach. Now this food they offer like, they also have some great prices on some cocktails and the dishes like in, in particular that I would highly recommend is the wet burritos. I mean, these things are phenomenal and you won't be disappointed over here at VIP Mexican Grill, little hidden gem. All right, although not technically considered St. Pete, this is Treasure Island. It's literally right on the cusp of St. Pete. Now this, this beach in particular is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see they has, have a tons and tons of sand. And the great thing about this beach is the sunsets. I mean, this, this is facing west over here. So you're gonna get some of those beautiful Florida sunsets over here in Treasure Island Beach. I mean, it's picturesque. You'll see like the, your purples and your pinks and uh, the, the sunset is absolutely phenomenal. And they have a lot of events over here like sand castle competitions as well and there and it's a different spot to go you know not as crowded as like your clear water which is really highly touristy you have like a lot more a uh, lot more peaceful uh time over here in treasure island all right a little bit further down from caddies is you're, you're going to reach like sunset beach and then you go down a little bit further you get st pete beach and you go down a little further you get fort de soto beach so over here in st pete there's tons of beach areas and uh tons of things to do you got like a lot of a lot of little uh, umbrella spots to uh to rent or like they got these little cabanas this one's in, this one spot in specific is pretty awesome because it's called caddies now caddies is like a beach restaurant where they serve some uh you know some great beach food as well as have like a lot of like live events like bands and you'll all you'll see a lot of uh, uh things of that nature as well uh some types of concerts if you will um but it is an awesome spot to, to come back to come out to and just relax and drink some drink some little cocktails enjoy a little fun in the sun over here in st peter in st st pete as you can see i mean the water is is absolutely uh, amazing and it's another beach to go to over here in st petersburg now here's a cool little hidden gym just uh right down the street from caddies on the beach which we were just at is sunset dog beach if you want to bring your furry uh companions over here i mean take a look i mean it's not quite like the ocean but it's almost like a canal on the beach where you can still bring your dogs and you know have a good time you know throw the ball they could swim out there as well so another uh, another awesome spot to stop at over here in st pete now a little bit further down from Sunset Beach is St. Pete Beach, which is uh, home to the famous Pink Building or the Don Caesar, which is a uh, famous hotel where you can just go in and you could enjoy, you know, some nice restaurants or just hang out by the pool where they have a bar as well and join some cocktails. Over here on the beautiful beach with the powdery white sand, you get to rent things like, you know, they have like some little kayaks you can rent or some jet skis, or you could just rent like one of these little uh, uh, lawn chairs or a little uh, umbrella and just hang out on the beach enjoying this beautiful view over here in St. Pete.
Our next stop in St. Pete, which I'll highly recommend if you're into fitness, is Jungle Gym Ninja. Now, Jungle Gym Ninja is has everything to do with American Ninja Warrior, the popular TV show on NBC, which I happen to be on three seasons of American Ninja Warrior, and I made it to uh, the finals in season six and season eight. Now, this gym, I would highly recommend because they got tons of obstacles, all the obstacles uh, like in the show, as well as like a separate kids section as well. So uh, if you have little kids, uh, they could go over there and they could do their own thing on, on these obstacles or uh, some adults as well. If you want to try your, uh, your luck at the famous warp wall, then you could do that as well or do as tons of different obstacles over here in Jungle Gym. Now, I've personally been to um, a lot of these gyms across the nation and this gym in particular happens to be one of the best. So I would highly recommend stopping over here at Jungle Gym Ninja in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, whether you're a beginner or an advanced ninja, this place has a little bit of something for everyone. They have tons of obstacles and they have professional ninjas that's been on American Ninja Warrior countless times that will guide you step by step and train you to get through all these obstacles. So this is an awesome spot to, to be, whether you're a child or an adult. I would highly recommend stopping over here at Jungle Gym Ninja in St. Petersburg, Florida. And when you're in St. Pete and you're feeling lucky, you might as well come try your hand and bet on one of these Greyhounds over here at Derby Lane. Now, Derby Lane is a pretty cool stadium, which also has a poker room on the other side. Uh, so you could uh, you could do a little gambling with the poker or you could try your hand at, uh, and bet on one of the many Greyhounds racing this pretty awesome stadium. Now, this is pretty cool about this uh, place is they actually filmed a certain portion of Ocean's Eleven here where, um, where Brad Pitt was recruiting Saul. So it was a pretty cool scene, you know, in St. Petersburg, where you get to see the the the, uh, the dogs race around the track, and we're all seeing these uh, movie stars uh, do their thing. And to wrap it up, St. Petersburg, or we like to call it St. Pete or the Berg, is an amazing place to live with tons of activities and things to do. Everything from the walkability and diversity of downtown living with the endless mom and pop shops and little bars and restaurants to the other side of St. Pete, where you get to explore one of the many beaches that it has to offer. And they got your sunrise and sunset, not to mention all the fitness activities that St. Pete has to offer as well. Another cool thing is we're in downtown Tampa right now. You take this cross town right here and you literally get to St. Pete in like 20 minutes. So, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You got St. Pete and you also got Tampa. So if you want to call St. Petersburg or Tampa your home, make sure to reach out to me or my partner, James. All of our information is in the description below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video.